Good afternoon. My name is Karen Bryant, as many of you know. Thanks for joining us here today, especially on short notice. I am thrilled to be here today at this press conference to announce that we have signed Sue Bird to a multi-year extension to continue her career here with the Seattle Storm. As many of you know, Sue has proven to be a fantastic representative of our organization for the past eight years on and off the court. She has received any number of accolades, but more importantly, has consistently demonstrated grit and character, and she continues to demonstrate those characteristics, not only on the court, but in our locker room and throughout our community. She has been an integral part of the Storm family. We're thrilled that she's going to continue her career here in Seattle. And without further ado, I want to turn it over now to our head coach and director of player personnel, Brian Hagler. Thanks, Karen. Um, got a lot of stories to tell about Sue. We don't have all time today. All good. But um, one reason I wanted to be here in Seattle as a coach is because of Sue and what she's done and the type of player and person she is. And, um, building a team here, we want to build uh, a team of high character people. And even before I arrived, the storm was off to a great start in that category, having Sue as their leader and their point guard and, and their captain. Um, she's just been a pleasure to coach, uh, get to know, befriend. Um, she's just a great person. And uh, with her being here for a period of time down the road, um, the storm's going to be in very good hands. Um, I guess the one thing I want to say about Sue, and I think this probably says as much as it can, um, you guys have watched her play here over this period of six, seven years, and um, I've been here for two. But what the two years that I've been here, here's what's jumped out to me. Um, a testament to character is not always, and a good at judging it is not always the best to judge it when times are good. It's usually when times are difficult. And every time we've been in a difficult situation, Sue has come through. For example, uh, last year uh, we were playing real well. Lauren leaves, gets hurt. We're sort of undermanned a little bit. So what happens? Sue takes it upon herself to lead our team into the playoffs, earns player of the week for the first time in her career, and that Storm continue, continues its tradition of being a playoff team. Fast forward this year, similar thing happens. We go down a player, Lauren, and what happens? Of course, we continue success due to how Sue's played. And uh, she's led our team again uh, into the playoffs. She's been player of the week three times in her career over the last two years, both all three over the last two years. All three times has been when we, we were going through difficult times. And to me, that's just a testament to a true winner, a true competitor, and the leader of the Seattle Storm. And we're glad that she's going to be around for some more time. Um, thank you. That was very kind words and very kind words. Um, I'm very excited to be back in Seattle. This was kind of a no-brainer decision uh, for me. It's a place where, uh, even though I'm from the East Coast, this is definitely my home, both off the court and on. And uh, I, I really couldn't see myself in any other uniform, nor would I want to be. So like I said, it was pretty much a no-brainer. And I'm very excited that we can continue to the tradition that is Storm Basketball. Well said. Open it up for questions. Um, no, not really. You know, I think uh, over the years I've been pretty vocal. I've probably uh, scared people away in some regard um, of just how much I enjoy being here and, and how much I like it. Um, you know, there's been some jokes now and then, you know, Coach Tebow in Connecticut, um, you know, Blaze in New York. Obviously, those are two places that are also kind of close to my heart. So there's been some joking now and then, but nothing serious. I think everyone knows that um, Seattle's for me. Um, I mean, Lauren is one of my best friends and obviously one of the best players in the world. So of course, you know, <laughs> with a player of her caliber and the years we've spent together, um, of course I want to play with her. But, you know, at the same time, when it, when it comes down to it, you have to do what's right for, for yourself, you know. And this was 
um, a decision for me. It was best for me. And then, of course, I'm glad that, you know, I'll get to play with Lauren and I'll be in Seattle and in front of the Storm fans and, and all that other good stuff. But it, you definitely, it's the first time, really, we have to sit down and think about yourself. It's almost awkward. <laughs> but uh, I'm kind of glad it's over, to be honest. Yeah. Um, long and not long. I mean, I knew it was approaching. I knew... Um, you know, you get advice from tons of different people. I had people telling me, um, hey, this is your first opportunity to be an unrestricted free agent. That might never happen again. Um, that kind of thing. So it makes you think, you know. Um, it just kind of catches your ear and, and makes you think. But for the most part, it's not something I dwelled on. I knew where I wanted to be. Um, a few conversations with my agent, and that was about it. It just kind of went this long, just because when you're in season, you kind of get focused on other things, <laughs> like winning. So, uh, and you're traveling, and it's, it's kind of busy. So um, that's pretty much, I mean, it wasn't anything that was stressful. I think when you think about it from not only Sue's perspective, but Lauren as well, you think about a 10-year-old franchise, and those two have been the cornerstones and the backbone of this organization for eight years. I mean, that in and of itself is pretty remarkable. I think it's a real credit, first and foremost, to the athletes, Sue and Lauren particularly, and their commitment to this community, our fans, and this organization. I think it's also a real credit to the WNBA and the Players Association in working together and drafting free agency rules that put home teams in a position to keep their star players. I think that's in the best interest of the league as a whole and really applaud uh, the league and the union and working together to make that a possibility. But at the same time, as we, as we evolve as a league, trying to continue to open up opportunities for players like Sue to have a chance at free agency. Um, I like it. Uh, it's pretty much that simple. I've been here eight seasons now. I live here. Um, a lot of my closest friends are on the team. I have friends outside of basketball. Uh, when I say it's home, I mean, I, I truly, truly mean it. And um, it, it, like I said, it, I really, not a lot of thought went into this. You know, for a second, I had people in my ear talking about free agency, and it kind of, you know, went in one ear out the other, and that was the end. Um, so this wasn't really much of a difficult decision. Anybody else? Let me just close by saying I have said this many times but can't really say it enough. I want to just end by publicly again reiterating on behalf of the entire organization our appreciation for Sue Bird. What she has given to this organization over the last eight years in talent and leadership and memories and time and commitment and ambassadorship is unparalleled in the WNBA in my opinion and it is a tremendous source of pride that she wears a storm uniform and will continue to wear a storm uniform for the next few years. So thanks again for coming out, especially on short notice. We'll break up and do one-on-ones and enjoy the evening. Thanks.